I'm Mandy. And I'm Jessica. And this is The Coop. This is Coop Faves, where we share our favorite homeschooling resources and adventures. I'm Mandy. I'm Jessica. And this is Coop Faves. Faves. Today's fave is a series of punctuation books starting with Eats, Shoots, and Leaves. Ooh. Yeah. It's a series of funny punctuation books that are a hilarious way to teach your kids the dangers of an improperly placed comma. Ooh, that's a good one. I know. <laughs> so this series by Lynn Truss and illustrated by Bonnie Timmons are a huge favorite in our house because the books do just that. They put punctuation in places it should not go. So my kids have never loved punctuation so much than when they read these books. Yep. And every year they dip into these books for their fair share of giggles and fun. So what is it more specifically? So the author, I'm going to share about her. She's a former editor, okay. television critic, and sports journalist for the Times newspaper. And has written eight novels, six mm. nonfiction books, and then this series of children's books. And so the series of children's books, I have three of them. Mm -hmm. But there's actually four. Okay. So there's Eats, Shoots, and Leaves, which is the original. There's 20 Odd Ducks. There's The Girls Like Spaghetti. And then the newest one that actually just came out is Eats More Shoots and Leaves. Oh. <laughs> and I think the first one uh, was published in 2006. Okay. So this series is based upon the author's original nonfiction, like 240-page book called Eats, Shoots, and Leaves, A No-Tolerance Approach to Punctuation. Oh, funny. Which shares her passion for the preservation of punctuation. Oh. I'm wondering if it's in response to like all the LOL and the, oh, you know, the know. texting and the loss of punctuation, yeah. right? I can empathize with her. Yeah. So it's a comic strip, comic strip illustration style with one window of illustration per page. Okay. And I'll, I'll show it here in just a bit, but it's, so it'll be one page shows a picture of a sentence. So it explains the sentence in the illustration mm -hmm. with the sentence there. And then the opposite page shows the same sentence with commas, periods, and other punctuation in different places, mm -hmm. which completely changes the meaning of the sentence. So the picture on the opposite page is different. Got it. And it's all about where the comma has been moved. Yep. And it's such a funny twist. So just by moving or placing the comma, it's changed. And so for each shoots and leaves, why commas really do make a difference, I'm gonna read this one. So the sentence is, after we left grandma, mommy and I skipped about the park. And so this is the picture. It's just a park with mommy and the child skipping and granny sitting there with her walker on the bench saying hey after we or bye we left grandma mommy and i skipped about in the park mm -hmm. now the comma has been moved or or added so yeah. instead of one comma there's three commas and it's after we left grandma mommy and i skipped about in the park and it's so funny because it shows grandma skipping about skipping about holding her walker above her head like Right. Nope. It means a completely different thing. Yeah. And so the kids love seeing the twist just based, and it's all exactly the same words. Okay. So then in 20-odd 20, 20 ducks, why every punctuation mark counts. Oh, and the introductions are really well, too. Her her understanding or, or her analogies of how, like she says, hyphens, for example, are... Basically, two words holding hands. Oh, It's yeah. really cute, her um, pictorial language. So in this one, it's, do you know who came last night? Santa Claus, said my mom. And it shows a normal Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Then the next page says, do you know who came last night? Santa Claus said, my mom. <laughs> and, and so it shows Santa Claus... In his home, carrying a big cake, and there's presents, and all this food. He's talking to the elves. He's talking to the elves. <laughs> but it's literally the same right. words, yeah. just 
the quotations are in a different spot and the periods are in a different spot. So funny. But the same words. Okay, and then from the girls like spaghetti, why you can't manage without apostrophes. So this is, has a little bit more of a focus. There's a, a picture of turtles racing mm -hmm. and a bunch of kids watching. And it says, look, it's behind or it is behind. Mm -hmm. The next page says, look, it's behind, but it no longer has an apostrophe for it is. It's saying it's behind, and they're looking at the butt of a horse. <laughs> it's his behind. Yep. And so it just shows having the apostrophe there goes from making it a race to a butt. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So it's just super fun. The kids laugh so hard about these. Love it. Okay. So three reasons it's our favorite. My kids typically want to connect with each other while they're reading this book. They love laughing together, looking for each other's reactions, and saying the words out loud with expression. So mm -hmm. it's just fun. Number two, it teaches punctuation in a fun, creative, and organic way. I don't feel like I'm actually teaching punctuation or anything. Instead, we feel like we're just enjoying the English language together. Love it. And then number three, the books play a little trick on the brain, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes a little while sometimes to do the analysis of the, the sentence and the illustration. Right. Sometimes you don't actually have, I, I gave very simple, easy ones, but there's some that you're like, wait, what is it saying? Because your brain still fixes it. Yeah. Because we often know what somebody means to say. Mm -hmm. And so it's like when you see a misspelled word and you know, the, on the internet, they're like, how many of these can you just read through? Because your brain autocorrects. Yeah. And so, so these true. can be complicated because you have to not autocorrect in your head. Yeah. That's yeah. totally it. So it, it, you do feel like there's some brain muscle action mm -hmm. happening. Especially because we have oh, those totally. rules. You know, like we know a lot of these punctuation rules. And so we autocorrect without realizing yeah. it. So I might even read something that is incorrect as correct yeah. and not catch the joke. You have to sometimes yeah. read it over and yeah. over again and, and study the picture. The picture? The picture will give it away. Oh, totally. Yeah. The picture is ridiculous. Okay, how we use it. We gather together and read them aloud when we first buy them. So I've bought them one at a time and it's oh, like cute. opening a treasure chest because nice. the first one they were like, oh, this is hilarious. They're laughing so hard and their daddy comes home and they're like sitting with him on the couch and, yeah. and they're showing him and laughing right. together. So then when I ordered the next one, it was like, oh, there's another one. And right. then I ordered another one. Oh, yeah. You know, so excited. And now when I saw that there was one published in 2019, I'm like, oh. I have to get it. I know. We're getting for Christmas. I know. Oh, totally. <laughs> well, yeah, your daughter would love these, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They're hilarious. Okay. So that's one way. It's just to, to get them one at a time and yeah. see how much they enjoy them and open yeah. them like a treasure chest. So number two, I keep them on the bookshelf in our school room or family room. And every so often, they do catch a kid's eye. And I'll see them all at the table reading these. Nice. Yeah, it's so yeah. funny. Like, And we'll be in the middle of a lesson of some sort Something and they'll else, see it yeah. and they'll pull it out and they'll start giggling and then I'm like okay we're just gonna enjoy these books right yeah. now and I just take a break and we enjoy them laugh at them right. and then they go right back perfect and then uh like I said I've never taught a punctuation lesson with worksheets or workbook or lecture reading books copy work editing ma manuscripts and these books are really all we, yeah. we do Okay, so here's a couple more ideas. And actually just today I was um, reading one with my youngest and, and she was so excited to sit and read, mm. read it with me and wanted to keep going, but we had to go to gymnastics. But mm -hmm. so she, she said, oh, I want to make up my own. Okay. Can you imagine how hard that would be? Yep. So try making up your own silly sentence by changing the punctuation and it, Definitely would be harder than it looks, but it might be a good challenge for the older kids, especially, yeah. right? To see if yeah. they could do it. And then illustrate it. Yeah. Be a fun presentation, right? Another idea is to say the words from the book with no comma pauses. Just say the actual words yes. yeah. and see see where they put the commas, where they put the quotes, mm -hmm. and what they gain from it, right? And yep. then see what matched. Does it match with the funny picture? Does it were they able to do it? And that's an yeah. easier way to go about it, right? Totally. So that's it. And that is uh, Punctuation Books. Thanks for listening. We love your support. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast, 
leave a rating and review to let us know how we're doing and share our podcast with your friends who need a little community, humility, and joyful fun in homeschooling. 